All right, now we're going to take a look at how to insert different loops. After you've inserted movie, your program will probably look something like this. Right here, get back to where we were before. Now to view the loops, you want to click on the eyeball icon in the lower right hand corner. It says view hide the loop browser. You want to view the loop browser. This is kind of messy over here. To kind of clean this up, just click on the scissors icon in the bottom left corner to take that away. Now if you went ahead and did your soundtrack timeline and you know exactly where you want to add and take away music, your job is going to be much easier. Let's say at 8.67 or 8.687 where I want to add maybe a relaxed sound. So by clicking on relaxed up here, whoop, relaxed, gives me all the different relaxed beats. Anything without a green or a blue uh, button next to it won't be available. But let's listen to this one, the 80s dance pad one. Click it again to stop it. Let's say I like that. I'll hold down and drag in and let go. Once I let go of the loop, I'm able to slide it wherever I want to. If you want to make the loop longer, you just click on the right hand side of the loop and you drag. And you can make it longer and longer as long as you want. You can keep repeating that. Now to shorten it, I can shorten it until right where the initial loop came in. I can't shorten that any more than that. Uh, at least not with the loop icon here. So here's how you cut loops that you can't shorten normally. You just drag the red line right here where you want to cut the loop. Let's say you want to cut it right there. You want to make sure that it's highlighted. For example, that right there is not highlighted. But if I clip on the loop, it's highlighted. Then you go to Edit, and you click Split. Now I have it in two different halves. So hopefully that was right where I wanted to split it. If I click away from it, click on any of this gray area down here, it deselects the two loops. And if I click on that, I can drag it where I want to, or I can just hit the delete key. I'm going to hit delete, and now I have a shorter track. So that's how you shorten those tracks.